Well, residents in Bowie are rallying to reopen their only emergency room, which has closed its doors after less than a year of operation. Tyshin Dawson met with an official about that today there. So Tyshin, what's the plan now? Daryl Bowie citizens are taking matters into their own hands, gathering for a public meeting this Wednesday to explore ways to keep health care services local with another hospital or emergency room. An accessible ER can be the difference between life or death in critical situations. And now the city of Bowie is without theirs, leaving residents without any emergency health care. I think having the loss of the hospital so suddenly has been the best call to action because now everybody's like, wait a minute, we had this, it was good. You know, my, I had to get my grandmother there or, you know, I, my son was bit by a snake. I mean, accidents happen and we want to get somewhere quick. So residents are rallying this Wednesday to discuss possible options to keep emergency health care. Everyone's like, whoa, uh, we need the hospital. And you can really jump in and be a part of that and really save the hospital, save the emergency room. Uh, and, and be a part of it, where you might not have felt like you had any control at all before, now you do. Hospital reps announced in September that the hospital was not meeting the projections required to maintain operations. So I asked Gillespie what would be different this time. Number one is that we would move forward cautiously and with a great deal of study on this grant and with the assistance of the congressman's office. I know that he would be very supportive of any effort or help that he could provide to us first and, and go forward uh, with a little stronger plan. Residents look forward to this meeting, hoping that with a strong turnout, it will send a message about the importance of health care in Bowie. Gillespie is asking surrounding counties to join the meeting as well, especially those with any background knowledge that can contribute. Right, well, let's just hope we get that medical care for them, if at all possible. I know that is very important to them. We'll see what happens in the future. Tyson, thank you so much for that story.